Yo, what is going on guys? We're back with another SnowRunner mod review and we're back where it all started, Alaska. I did a ton of mod reviews in Alaska and I thought the first mod we should do is the Reoffender, which Iceberg just released not too long ago. I'm a little bit late to the draw here for reviews, but it's better late than ever, right? So, uh, as I start up daily videos again, I thought I kind of want to take it back to the roots. Um, massive shout out to Iceberg. Not only did we get to collaborate on a couple of mods to bring them to the SnowRunner community, but he also taught me a lot, not just about SnowRunner, um, but uh, just about life. Uh, had a lot of great chats with Iceberg and coming back into content creation and striving for the daily videos again, I really want to dedicate this first video uh, to one of Iceberg's mods that he's done since I kind of took a step back and a little break from YouTube. But you know what to do, drop a like on the video, drop a sub on the channel guys, and don't forget, the mod link as always is going to be in the description guys. Alrighty, time to customize up Iceberg's The Reoffender. We're going to buy this and customize it up. Get the 2.5 liter 200 TDI turbo diesel, 2.5 liter 300 TDI turbo diesel, or the rare spec, sorry, race spec 2.5 liter TD5 turbo diesel. So that's what we're going to go with. We've got the 5 speed LT77, 4 speed crawler kit, 6 speed GFT MT82, or the 4 speed special off road. We're going to go with the 4 special off road. Suspension, we got balance suspension set, crawler tuned lift kit, crawler tuned lift kit soft, or racing suspension set. I kind of want to go with it while it's tough. I don't know whether soft or stiff is going to be better for what we're doing. I can't see us going truly crawling, but the balance suspension set also kind of seems in between. We're going to stick with the stiff. Uh, we got 37 Wild Peaks, 37 BFG ATs, Cooper Discovery Warren. The one thing I love about the mods that Iceberg releases is the attention to detail like this. You can see in the wheel well, there's a lot of... Uh, road trash, uh, road thrash, I guess you would say. And the tire's worn, but you could have it new if you want to. Also got the 37 BFG Mud Terrain TAKM3. We got the 37 Y720 MT. 37 Trepidor, 37 Grappler, and the OG OP. Insanely, ridiculously awesome Quasi tires. But I am going to kind of go a little bit off here and go with the BFG Monterrain TA Cam 3. This is probably one of the most balanced tires uh, to have. I'm going to go with Autonomous Scout Extended, Diff Lock, Mushroom Snorkel, or Mushroom Snorkel. Let's go with the Mushroom Snorkel. Frame add-ons, we got rear body uh, or the uh, fender roll cage, and we're going to add the rear body as well, and we could add the rear roll cage to the rear likewise. Interior upgrades, we can add NOS. Kit shop, we got branch deflectors, dual mounted fire extinguishers, trailer hitch, headlight lamp grill, rear recovery shackle, rock sliders, and small mounted shovel. Uh, front bumper, we got the ice front bumper bar, the ice front bumper old guard, and vengeance. I really love the vengeance. It's got a lot of different features to it, so we're going to go with the vengeance. Body shop, we got the hood protector, of course, lighting, the front LED bar, front LED pods, which replaces the bar, or the rear LED light pods. Um, Iceberg, if you're watching this, I don't know if you know, it says light pods instead of light. Simple fix. Um, we got two rim options, chrome, black, we're going to stick with the black. Um, different color options, we got the cool decals, we're going to go with black for this, and we're going to pull this bad boy out and see what it can do. Alrighty, so, engine sounds really good gauges work I love this camera that we have at the top uh, the rear I guess you would say rear trail cam it's pretty cool I remember in the Tacoma iceberg and I did the first uh, in dash cam together um, as part of the media center infotainment center uh, setup and it was it was pretty cool we do have all terrains on so it's gonna be a little bit you know you know how it goes it's gonna be a little bit uh, hit and miss when it comes to the ice deep snow it's doing good so far I was kind of curious there's some really good I guess you would say uh, photo opportunities here so I just want to check it out get a general feel for what we're getting into um, we kind of have what I would say one of the more balanced setups for this truck um, it's good for if you hit the rocks it's also good if you hit the mud it's not gonna be crazy good on the ice but no uh, 
Oh, look at that slide. That's crazy. All right. Let's take a look at photo mode. I think we can grab a really good photo here. Boom. That's it. One of the kind of things I love about the way Icebreak does is mods. They're super realistic. You, like, you can tell this truck's been worn a little bit. There's some dirt in the wheel well. Stuff like that. It's a little bit of road rash. It's not just some like incredibly shiny truck that it's brand new, but obviously not brand new, you know? So the physics on these tires really bounce. I don't know if I forgot how SnowRunner physics were, or if they've improved, but for all terrains, this seems a little bit more realistic, if anything. There we go. A lot of, like, the buttons and just those kind of assets are really well detailed here. Uh, Iceberg never disappoints. It's crazy how far his mods have come in general. So we're going to take this through the old torture test. Which, I'm not going to lie, I'm really excited for. We are going to go over to the right here a little bit because I find this side's a little bit more balanced for trucks like this. I'm going to put it in a low plus and put the diff lock on. Try to give it the most fair shake that we can. Ooh. We're already bottomed out. I didn't think we were going to get buried this quick. I'm not going to lie. Let's see if we can back out of this. We're going to have to winch. We're going to have to go up and around uh, by that cottage because this part of uh, the track is just not... Not something we're going to get to go through. I'm, but the Quasis, you know, honestly, maybe. The Quasis are pretty intense. When they first came out, a lot of people called them OP. But for me, I found them very balanced. They're on the powerful side for sure. But then again, you know, realistically, it's okay that this truck didn't make it all the way through it. That's okay. So we're going to go through something that's a little bit more reasonable for this. Honestly... I remember uh, when the game first came out, I was playing with some friends. I had like six Hummers stuck in that mud pit. It's crazy. You really, you kind of needed the Kolob or something really heavy duty to try to trek through it. Um, so we're definitely going to take a look at some of the other uh, bigger trucks that have come out recently and just kind of run through that classic torture test. We dive back into content. I found Tennessee kind of disappointing, if I'm being honest. Um, Burning Mill is... A burning disaster in my opinion it doesn't bring a ton of balance and it, it's not it's not it's not what snow runner was made i think it was an intro into their new game that's coming out but we're kind of cruising through this in automatic this is crazy we'll put it in a high here because we're going to start trekking through some deeper snow yeah and we're plowing through like it's nobody's business we got to get a photo of this. It's an incredible photo opportunity. There we go. Boom. Like a tourist with all these photos. It honestly kind of feels like it does better in automatic, but you don't have the gear shift, so you don't risk getting stuck or maybe possibly inevitably stalling out. It's a little refreshing, if anything. go that way to the port but we're gonna keep going down here this is the OG trail and it's kind of crazy we we did slide a little bit there but nothing crazy get a really nice suspension flex there we do have the stiff suspension but it seems to have just enough give for it to be kind of where we want it we'll crawl back up here well not crawl boogie back up here and uh wait for the next vehicle to come through that 
We might be able to make it through. We'll keep this kind of as a backup in case we need to try to winch or just give a little bit of assistance. This is a uh, this is solid. I you know in closing, I don't really have words for the quality of this truck. The rear fender is not something you really expected to be this balanced, and it's it's incredibly premium in every aspect. But you know what to do, guys. Drop a like in the video, drop a sub on the channel, and please make sure you show Iceberg some love. Discord link for his Discord is going to be in the description, and so is the mod link, guys. I'm so happy to be back. Um, I'm looking forward to getting back into content. If there's something you want to see on the channel, comment below. But keep an eye on the community tab because I'm going to post an announcement today uh, about some changes coming to my YouTube and my goals with content and to better align uh, the videos to the audience. So you know what to do again. Drop a like on the video, drop a sub on the channel. I'll catch you with the next one.